Hi and welcome to Devana Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and this little video is a preview of what we got up to at our March 2019 sewing retreat. At the retreat we made the Lorna Purse by Love Me patterns and the lovely Mel came along to teach that workshop and on the Sunday I was teaching the five minute block technique and we made the basket of love. If you would like to know anything more about our retreats you can find all the information over on our Facebook page DD Sewing Retreats where we list our events and everything that we've got coming up. You'll also get to see a lot of the finished projects once they've gone home and they've finished off their mini quilt, they're all starting to appear now. So let's get into the video. Hi everybody and welcome back to Savannah Lee Design Studio. My name's Nicole Reed and this is Savannah Reed and we're off to one of our DD's Bunya Mountain retreats. As you can see, the um, car is packed to the hilt right up to the roof and I've got a station wagon that's all the way back to the tailgate. So we've got just about everything that we need. We've just got to whip around to Beck's place and load her car up and then we'll be off for a wonderful weekend of sewing. So stay tuned to this video and see what we get up to. Okay, so we're heading up into the mountain now. As you can see, it's a misty cold day. It's 18 degrees Celsius and we've got a little bit of rain. Um, it is patchy rain, but um, you know, that's just the joys of coming up into the Bunya Mountains in southeast Queensland. So we're going to be there probably in the next 15 minutes. Uh, we're just taking it nice and easy because we're fully loaded and it is a bit slippery and wet here. Um, but it's not always like this. This is just on a uh, cold day and we're in autumn. So it's finally, we're starting to feel a little bit of autumn. So we've arrived at the Bunya Mountains and you can see, as I said, it's a bit rainy this time and you can see all the kangaroos, these guys, the wallabies, these guys are around all the time. So you'll see lots more footage of those. Okay, so we've arrived at the chalet and this is the chalets that we're staying in and we're starting to unpack the cars. So Bex just backed her car into where we unload all the food and everything and that's in Tugan Tugan is where we do all the cooking and all of the eating and you can see the boot is full and if Beck would be kind enough to open up the door we can show you what else we've got going on so I you warn you it may all fall out okay so oh we've just got one that's about to come out so as you can see we are fully laden and the car is full of food so anybody that's thinking about coming to our retreats you will be definitely well fed and Beck is doing some hop skipping and jumping so we've got water in there we've got everything that we could possibly need so this is where we have our barbecue this afternoon we've got two barbecues here and we cranked one of the both of them up and we get cooking we've got some outdoor showers and toilets as you can see the wallabies come and visit as well and it's very green up here at the moment a lot greener than what it was last time and they're so cute so they just basically hang around the chalets and you can sit and eat your dinner and they'll be sitting there with you as well. That's just a little one today that's sitting here. And that's just because we've just brought the cars in and a lot of them have taken off. So we'll just go into the chalets. And this is the Tugan one where we're staying, Tugan Tugan. So you can see it's very, uh, it's a wood cabin. It's a large cabin. And uh, this is the kitchen and we set up everything here and it is a hive of activity at dinner time. The three of us do all the cooking. We set up an urn on the breakfast bar. Then you've got a beautiful eating area and upstairs are the room bedrooms and down here we've also got another room down here and that's where our lovely host uh, the Mel from Love Me Patterns will be staying and Natel so they'll be sharing a room together. Quite a large bathroom it sleeps 22 each cabin does and my cabin is exactly the same there's a tv but we don't watch that we also have an open fireplace as well and i'll just open the door and show you what it looks out onto so you can see out here we've got more eating area and you can see as far as the eye can see we have some wallabies paying us a visit so that's what we wake up to every day they just lounge around everywhere some of them are friendly and will come up to you and we overlook the bunya mountains just here and all the bunya pines 
and we've also got some eating area here so the two cabins are side by side but they're not joined by an inter internal door so we use the back door to get to each cabin or we can use the front door but it's just absolutely beautiful up here and if you listen you'll be able to hear the cockies We've set up our pop-up shop so you can see there we've got some gorgeous Liberty and all our fabrics are $10 a meter. We've got patterns, we've got pre-cut stuff, we've got bag hardware and we're still just sort of setting it all up but you can sort of get the gist of how it all comes together and tomorrow this room is going to be a hive of activity. So my assistants are trying to hide from the camera but now they're on camera. Say hi everybody. Hi. <laughs> and this is our room that we're in for the weekend and you can see we've got all the tables set up this is the largest table here we've got our ironing station down there we can bust out some tunes on the piano a bit later if someone wants to play i can't play but this is where we're going to spend our weekends all righty so it's the weather's sort of starting to clear up it was very misty when we arrived and the wet, the rain sort of let up it's just a sort of mist at the moment but it's um very nice out there it's not too cold either it's overcast but it's not too cold okay so it's 11 o'clock at night and i'm whispering because everybody's in bed they've all had a great afternoon for our barbecue and beck and i have just finished setting up for breakfast in the morning so you can see there it's self-serve and over this side we'll have our bacon and eggs cooking and then we've got our buffet to keep that warm for everybody so you can see that the food is plentiful the coffee and the tea is plentiful and uh, yeah, I'm whispering because everybody's asleep. So that's our first night, which is Friday night. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated throughout the day. Good night, everybody. And we'll see you again in the morning. Okay, so it's day one and everybody is already at it. It's just gone nine o'clock. We've had breakfast and everybody's already at their sewing machine, sewing away. They're interfacing at the moment and discussing everything and it looks like a hive of activity so as you can see it is a hive of activity I'm over there in the back helping some ladies out and Mel is buzzing around the room and helping everybody out they're all just about up to starting to sew now and they've got all their interfacing on and they're starting to follow the steps it was a wonderful purse to make we really did enjoy making it and uh, you'll be able to see um, some of the progress pictures that are coming up next Yeah, it'll go. It'll go how like some of them will go one way, others will go other way. So you don't need to iron it out. No, if that's how you normally do stuff and you feel more comfortable doing that, that's fine as well. It will be what it be. There you go. So if you just do an eighth of an inch base along the bottom, that'll hold that geese in place for you. And it, when you go to sew your rows together, it won't move. Okay. Um, on because sometimes the corners can kick out. That look good. So give them a really good press. Yeah. Yep. Get those uh, raw edges to all the line up. Don't worry so much about your your centre seam. Just let it go where it goes. 
and then just baste it an eighth of an inch along the bottom edge and that'll hold it all in place for you ready to sew it into a row. Awesome. Where's your other bit? Give us a look. Is that all to look, um, to look pink? Yeah. Awesome. It's going to look good. It looks fabulous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's going to be amazing. I love the colours in it. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that's the top part of your yeah. quilt done. So um, when you're ready to go, just put um, interfacing on the back of that. So when you... Um, put that next round of borders on. Yeah, and before you put your flowers on. And that way, when you put the, do the applique of the flowers or anything like that, they'll, it'll all be all stabilised. And you won't see, because you do the whole square, and then that way you won't see the interfacing through. Yeah. Hey, gum shell. Yeah, it looks good. I love the colours. Thank you. Pretty butterflies. <laughs> That's fine. I understand you're a bag lady. I understand you're a bag lady. It's all good. I'm pushing you out of your comfort zone. But it's good. It's good to learn something different. And this is this is not too shabby to learn. It's a it's a nice easy one. There you go, Rossi. You happy with that? Give them a really good press. You still have the quarter inch, so you'll still have a triangle. It's all good, okay? Some of them might go a little bit, bit skewy, so it'll just come down to your pinning and everything like that, making sure that you pin correctly when we come to assemble those rows. How are you going, Kath? Not looking too shabby. That's not looking too shabby at all. Very nice. How are you going, hon? Yeah, that's nice too. I like that. It's going to be strong. Part is choosing your fabric. Yes, it is. it is, and that's why. Like it was, a, um, I was debating what I was going to do. I haven't cut my little borders because yeah, I... yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Have a look at that section. If they don't actually make, it's so you don't lose your points if they go too close. You can do a little bit of a bigger seam if you want to. Know how they talk about points that gotta be on. Yeah, but if you have a look at that up there. Ah, see? Yes. They don't quite. So, yep. Yeah. Yep, that's all good. Yeah. So, um, can I just borrow that for a sec? So when you come to your butt putting your geese together, see how the points don't go to point to point? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like that, okay? You're just using a quarter of an inch seam allowance through the whole thing. It's supposed to be like that. As you've done, if once you've done them all and you've got the rows together, um, like your each rope, add them on, and then you can assemble your basket. Yeah, and then that, yeah. like that little preview of what we got up to at the Bunya Mountains and as you can see there was a ton of activity happening everybody really enjoyed making each of the projects Mel was a great instructor for the Lorna wallet and if you want to find out where to get that you can head over to our Facebook page DD sewing retreat and all the information is there for it she would love to see your creations as well so join her group on Facebook and you can show off your creations keep an eye out on our Facebook page 
for uh, all the posts that are starting to come through of more wallets that have been made by the ladies that attended the retreat and also some of the finished mini quilts as well. One lady's even turned hers into a double bed quilt so you'll have to keep an eye out for that. At this point, Beck and I would just like to say thank you to everybody that came along and joined in the fun of our DD's mountain retreats. We hope that you enjoyed your time with us and we look forward to seeing you again at a future retreat. If you like this video today, give it a thumbs up down below and hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and that way you won't miss out on any future posts. And don't forget to leave us a comment and tell us what you thought. Have you got any questions about our retreats? We'd love to know and we'll be able to answer them. And for those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed for Divine Design Studio and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.